angel for five minutes, all right, then if I get an email in angel and I go to answer it, I better respond within five minutes so that server knows that the session is still alive. If I sit there and scratch my head and do some investigation and it takes me 15 minutes, the session has expired and it, forgots who I, it has forgotten who I am. All right? The flip side is true, too. You don't want to say, okay, let's make the session eight hours then. Because then it won't, won't time out until eight hours have elapsed without a request. So if I go and log in in lab, check my angel email, and log out immediately, all right, server doesn't know that I've logged out unless, again, I press the log out button. If I just close out of the browser, however, that server is going to keep that session data for eight hours, even though it's not, I'm not on the site anymore. And that's, a, that's an extra burden on the server. So you want to find the Goldilocks spot, right? You want to be not too long, not too short. And it depends on the specific thing of what you're doing. For example, at Angel, I'm sure that if you go into a quiz, they change the session timeout to be at least the length of the quiz, right? Because it would be a shame to get halfway through the quiz and you're thinking a long time on a, on a tough problem and in the middle of the quiz they forgot who you are. All right, and you would lose the data because it wouldn't know that that answer is associated with you. It lost the session data. So you can manually set it. You can manually override the default for specific uh, server-side pages. A typical session timeout is 20 minutes. But again, that wouldn't necessarily work in a, in a quiz mode, right? Because it's possible you might spend more than 20 minutes on a, on a given quiz question. All right? Now, how would you do a login then? You do a login sort of by combining those two things I talked about, right? You would have a form where the user puts in their user ID and password. There'd be a query running behind the scenes that would take the user ID and password, try to retrieve it from the database, and if it did, it would set the session variable for the user ID. And then that session variable could be used throughout the application. The one thing that I did not get to that we can review next week, again, individually, uh, if you wish, the two things I would say you might want to look at next week reviewing with me individually are the data type conversions, because I recognize I talked about those fairly quickly today, and creating try-catch blocks. All right? If you've done try-catch blocks in other languages, they're very similar uh, to this. It's a way of wrapping code that you think might fail uh, around code that's going to catch the air and do something about it. All right. Any questions? While you're thinking if there's any questions, I'm going to zip up this, upload it, and grab the video files, and then we can start the evaluation. Yes? I have a question about the session. Uh -huh. um, for example, like when I'm an angel and I want to maybe look at two pages at the same time, I just open up another tab, and I'm already logged in. Yes. So what is it that the session is, I mean, what, what, what is the server using to identify the session? Is it my computer? That is a good question. All right. Does anyone else have any other good questions? No. That would, that would depend on the application. I was going to say, couldn't it be the browser? Yeah. Because I've opened Mozilla and Internet Explorers at two different sessions. Yeah, a true session will be based on, um, even more than that, will be based on the browser window. All right? So I should be able to open up a browser window and log into two different Gmail accounts. All right? Now, Angel, I think, specifically does something funky, <laughs> where I think it stores a cookie of who you are, in which case, if I open two instances of Firefox, it's sharing the one cookie, so it will share my identity between those two. But you're absolutely right. If I go to Internet Explorer and Firefox, it doesn't share the cookie, in which case I can be logged on as two different people. Or, or I'm not logged on in, in there as I would be. All right? Let's test it out. I'm going to go to, to, I'm going to open up IE, and I'm going to go and log in to Angel. So I'll go in 
into this class, which I'm, I'm doing anyhow because I want to zip up and upload this. So this is a perfect case. So I'll go in here, lectures and examples, and I'll add content. another tab, I'm still logged on. So if I go and say open a new tab,
So it must it must do the same thing Angel did. I, I must be mistaken on that. Does it have an auto login set right now? Whether it does or not, that doesn't answer that, that doesn't change my answer to the question that it depends. It depends on how it's set up. In other cases, perhaps not Google, but in other cases, um, it would be based on the browser session and not on the computer that you're at. This must store your credentials in a cookie, in which case it's shared between two browser windows. All right. So there's, yeah, the, the bottom line is it could be configured to do it a number of different ways. Purely with the session variable, it will be a browser window only. All right, it'll be for that browser window. So if you open up another browser window and and uh, go to the same page, that session variable won't be relevant for that. Okay, you have to do something more. You have to do something more. Yeah, okay. and typically you'd use a cookie for that. And are session variables available on the page at the, on the client side? If you put them there. Okay, so you have to specifically. Yeah. So well, and, and you, you more or less can prove that because it says "Hello, Mike Zellers," up there, right? That's displaying something that's stored in a session variable up on the page. So I could have gone in on this one and displayed the user ID on on the queue page, right? And I just set the the, the text of a label to session user ID. All right? Can be used just like any other variable. 